All right, you are still watching Ways Now, typically celebrated with church services. Um, Easter Monday is a Christian holiday that marks the day after Jesus Christ rose from the dead, according to the Christian faith. Now, many people also use this day to be with friends and families and may participate in traditional activities such as decorating Easter eggs or having a special Easter meal. I'm not sure about this egg matter because I, I read about the history of the egg. I said, hmm. <laughs> but how did you celebrate your Easter Monday quickly? Well, I went to my, my church where I started from, Baptist church, and it was just so surreal to see everyone and you know, advance in age. It's funny how time flies. And then when there's so much time in between and then you reconnect, it's like, wow. A lot has happened. It was really, really beautiful today, just seeing everyone and living well, advancing in age. <laughs> but yes, it was, it was, it was good. It was spent in church, four hours of service. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I was gonna go there. I said, "How we never go there?" <laughs> like any service, we don't pass one hour thirty minutes. I'm sorry, it's not for me. <laughs> you know, because I, I mean, this traditional church is right. When you go to church. Like you practically see people sleeping. Can't you just do chap chap? As in, I thank God for, <laughs> for the new generational pastors that now developed a formula because it doesn't make four hours, five hours in doing what? In the presence of, of the Lord. Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so let me start with um, Jennifer. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, so um, Black Miller records sexual intercourse with ladies and sells nudes. Um, so this story broke out, um, that was last week, yeah, but I think um, they just decided to file a report um, officially. officially, yeah. Um, so there was a lady who was, um, who was calling out a guy who used to work in Nessu, but then he, he currently works in another company, and um, she's saying that she found out that um, she was dating him at the time, but then what she noticed was that whenever she was having sexual intercourse with him, there was this laptop oh, that was open. open, but it was blank. So um, if you're not suspecting, you would not know that anything was happening. But what he does is that he secretly takes pictures and makes videos of that entire activity. And then he sells it to people. And there were lots of proof, because I saw this on Twitter. There were lots of proof of telegram groups that were, telegram groups that were open where people were actually asking, oh. where men were asking for these nudes and they were actually paying, oh paying for it. And a lot of witnesses women who were coming out and sending messages of how he harassed them, he stalked them, and so many other things have been happening. So they're still trying to catch him right now. Hmm. Hmm. Be careful. Hmm. Horrible things ha hmm. are happening. Mm -hmm. hmm. I can't imagine <laughs> having people's private experience being published yeah. for the public without your permission. Well, how is that possible, though? Well, if he's a tech, if he's if, tech so, savvy, so they'll send the laptop to go to sleep, like sleep mode, but it, the camera is on. Those that are tech savvy know how. I'm to sure there is a way they things. maneuver something like that. Because mm. I think one thing was, um, um, what she said was, when she ended things with him and he was trying to blackmail her, mm. um, he started sending pictures. So, so I think someone received a nude picture of herself, and she was like, "I never took this picture myself. I never sent it to you. So how do you have it?" So unsuspectingly, you just be in the room with him, and then he does things like this, and he has done it to several hidden cameras. Yeah, hidden for, cameras, you know, like several oh, wow. women, huh. several women. Be careful you date you. <laughs> That's all I can say. No more your story. Okay, mine is still on the story that were part of what we're discussing this evening. It's about the full list that UK has. Um, UK stops recruiting healthcare workers from Nigeria and fifty-three other countries. So. Um, the red list of countries uh, out, a lot of countries, we have Bangladesh, we have uh, Nigeria, we have Burkina Faso, we have over 53 countries who have currently been banned from being recruited, doctors, nurses, and all. And this, the UK government says that it is due to the code of revised code of practice you know, having revised their code of practice and due to conversations going on that it's unfair, some countries are losing um, in the area of healthcare and, and social welfare so that they had to revise it and they had to stop including Nigerians 
from being recruited uh, and their most uh, country or oh, most recruiters, employers of labor, are also need to um, they need to to look at the list to know which countries have been banned so that you don't recruit from from such countries. Uh, but we, I'm sure we'll still. Uh, I was even just going to touch on it briefly to say that I saw a video on social media where a woman, I think she's a nurse, she was accusing Nigerians of being part of why they were. Um, added Stopping. to this list. Okay. Mm. That um, so recruiters normally would give certain kinds of forms or something, okay. and that thing is free. So what Nigerians now started doing was they would go and sell that um, form to the people. recommendation letter or something to people for the, for thousands of pounds. So um, because again, you know the desperate situation of people wanting to leave the country and all of that. So I think again, that was smoked out. And that's part of why, you know, they will not just give you the full list. But mm. she's in the UK and she says she knows a lot of people will come for her. Mm. But truth is, they also did some findings and investigation and they found out that people were selling those recruiters. It's not so, it is us doing ourselves. Uh, so, so that was Nigerians. what she was just saying that why, when would Nigerians learn, you know, to, to stop, do, things stop right. do things right? So my story is actually very troubling. I'm trying to hold myself. But maybe let me call for the video first. You watch the video, then um, I'll come back. Who's here? <laughs> then I think finally here also. And suck my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to hold myself. So the 14th Dalai Lama, 87 years old, known to his people, has apologized after an unsettling video appeared on social media in which he um, stuck out his tongue and asked a young boy to suck his tongue. He apologized, saying that um, normally he plays around and, you know, that um, he knows that the family, they will feel hurt. Um, you know, this boy was actually the one who asked to come give him a hug. The boy hugged him. He should have finished there. He asked for a peck on his cheek. He should have finished there. The next thing, he stuck out. He asked for a, a kiss on his lip. He still did not stop there. He then asked the young boy to, he brought, stuck out his tongue and asked the young boy to suck his tongue. You know what, we're going to discuss this matter tomorrow. But I want to say that, you see, pedophilia is not something that people should joke with. And it comes in different, you know, revered, whatever. I have sons, you know, there were just so many things that were wrong for me in that video. He could visibly see this young boy really uncomfortable. But again, because he was interfacing with someone that is revered, right, he couldn't say no. So that's why I'm saying that I will, I will shelve the conversation for tomorrow. Because I really want to understand, if you were a parent, what would you do? And, you know, how parents are raising their children. Because again, some children will be bold enough to tell that man, no. Sorry, I can't do that. But the boy could not, you know, he had to oblige him. And people were around laughing. How is that even funny? You are not my father. You are not my mother. You are not related to me in any way. But we'll take a break. Let's discuss medical issues today. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Stay with us. <laughs>